Hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. For those of you who follow my channel will know that I would normally post every Sunday. Um, and unfortunately I haven't because I got back from America about three months ago and I was in quarantine. And I think you guys, if you haven't seen my quarantine video, I'll put it up here somewhere. So I was in quarantine and then I was just taking the time to stay with my family, my friends, my boyfriend and just like catch up and really enjoy my time with them. So in this video I'm just going to cover a little bit of how it's been being back, settling in, what's it like coming back from another country after a year, um, what I'm doing in my life and all of that. So if you're interested stay tuned, if you're new to my channel give it a thumbs up, a like and subscribe. So yeah I'll just jump right into it. So I got back on the 2nd of May and I was in quarantine for about 5 days. I was going to upload my quarantine video and then I just never got to it and now I'm like over it so I'm just going to explain it to you. I was in quarantine from the 2nd of May until the 8th of May if I remember correctly. I was in the ESCOM facility which actually wasn't as bad as another facility that um, I knew somebody that was in there. We actually didn't have it that bad. Um, however, we did, like my friends and I who were in my block, we paid for private testing um, so that we could get our results quicker. They told us if we had gone through the government, we would have had to wait like maybe more than two weeks and I was not prepared to do that. So I paid for private testing through Lancet and then we got our results and we were allowed to leave earlier if we could self-isolate so it was very strict we had to sign a lot of documents we needed permits to drive and all that because that was still quite in the beginning so quarantine in itself wasn't too bad it was just i think adjusting to the food and everything was a bit of a schlep because my stomach just doesn't do well with change of food so like when i went to america i also didn't do very well Quarantine wasn't too bad in itself. I think I also made friends with like the girls in my block, which is really cool. And the guy across us, which we barely ever saw. We were always chatting in the hallway. And then when I got out, my sister picked me up and I surprised my family and stuff. And so I surprised them, which was really fun. It was so weird driving on the road because I had like not seen this in so long. And like even the sunset was so different. I can't explain it. It was just weird. And the fact that when I moved to America, my parents and my sister had moved to a new place a month after I left. So when I came back, I'd come back to a completely new house. So it was so foreign. Like I remember they were making me tea and I'm like, I don't even know where anything is. Like, I went to Luca after I surprised my parents because I got out at about like five in the evening. So it was quite late. So I went, um, I spent time with my family and then I went to Luca and also I didn't want to take any risks because my gran is really, really old and she's staying with us now and my mom's diabetic. So I landed up going to my boyfriend and because I live in an estate they weren't allowing visitors so I had to wait till I get my fingerprints in before I could go back home so I just took that time to actually just be relaxed take time off because like I had been working for a full year and then I'm in terms of jobs and what I'm doing and studying and stuff like that I am actually working on something with um, some people and I'm not going to talk about it because confidential still at the moment so I'm working on a project and then on the side I'm actually trying to look for a job just part-time probably like in the morning like um, half day like morning to 12 or 1 2 o'clock and the only problem is it's so hard being back because I don't have my own car so that for me was also something to adjust to um, if you don't have a car and you're an OP and you come back it can be really hard because you're so used to having your like when I was in America I had a car I could do what I want I could go where I want I had all of my things and like now even though I have like my sister my friends and my boyfriend to help me get around you still feel like you're not losing independence but you're, you don't have that let me just get in my car and go get myself a coffee you have to be like oh like I need to get somewhere I need somebody to take me so in that aspect it was a bit hard for me adjusting to that but I mean it's like not the end of the world so I'm definitely working on that and so I've just been looking part-time maybe for or, or, blah, 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 or pairing jobs because I have the experience I just need a car also what I'm doing part-time I'm doing gelish nails so I bought a lot of gel nail polishes and the gel kit when I was in America I can maybe do like a promotion so maybe 150 for hands and toes or just nails 
25% of that goes to the Teddy Bear Foundation, which is um, a clinic or a hospital that helps children who have been abused or are in abusive homes and all of that. I'm very passionate about kids and the well-being of kids and so, so I definitely want to help a cause while I'm trying to earn money on the side. But that's what I'm doing if you'd like to support me. I will be taking all the safety measures to try and keep both of myself and my clients safe. Masks, sanitizer and all of that. So. I would love the support if anybody's interested in coming to do their nails with me and then yeah so that is basically a mini sum up of what i've been doing i haven't been able to go out properly because the lockdown has kept us restricted i haven't seen a lot of people like i've seen my very close group of friends um but i was also like obviously i'm trying to be careful and aware of who i'm seeing and um whatnot because i don't want to put my mom and my grand at risk so the only one close friend that I haven't seen is Kaylin and unfortunately I haven't been able to see her because her mom is also very strict on like the lockdown but it's her birthday next week so I'm gonna go and see her um, for the first time in her like over a year so I'm really really excited about that so Kaylin shout out to you happy birthday for one day um, I'm not sure when you guys will be seeing this but it's the 17th so the whole world can know your birthday is on the 17th say your birthday is also on the 17th so shout out to you other than that nothing extremely exciting has happened we did go camping last week where it was really really fun we went for a friend's birthday it was so freezing like it was freezing i don't think luca and i prepared enough we like definitely we, we need to get camping stuff because we did not have the right camping stuff so other than like going out and doing something that i think that's the most like fun adventurous thing I've done since I've been back and then one thing I actually wanted to include in this was I spoke to a lot of girls when I was in America about weight gain and weight loss and struggling to lose weight in America and all of that and I briefly spoke about that in one of my previous videos that America uses a sugar substitute called corn syrup and corn syrup unless you are like born in America and your body knows how to process it it's very difficult for people who like have never been using corn syrup or having corn syrup in their food to lose weight so i was doing an online course before i left in my free time it's like it's called coursera um you can find a lot of free courses but you don't get the certificate or you can pay and then you get your actual certification and there's courses from yale stanford um, harvard um upenn and all of that so i was doing a few different courses through those accredited universities and the one i was doing was from stanford and it was a health course and they actually say that corn syrup blocks your receptors that tell you that you're full so when you're constantly eating corn syrup in your food you never feel full you always feel hungry and it's so funny because when my boyfriend came in december he said like his appetite had increased a lot definitely corn syrup was not a good thing for me personally because i gained a lot of weight when i was in america i think it was gradual i would probably say in the summer was my my most like weight gain which i mean i'm not proud of it but like everybody's body changes and it shouldn't be something that you're ashamed of i gained weight and when i did gain weight it wasn't because i was trying like to eat healthy i wasn't eating the most nutritious food and all of that i was just kind of blindlessly eating and so i definitely did gain weight but when i'd rematched and i'd gone to my new family your host family has to provide food for you so i started eating a lot healthier and i started losing a little bit of weight but it was very very minimal and then i would say in lockdown in america I was probably eating my most healthy. I would have like a smoothie for breakfast at like 11, so I kind of fast the morning. I would have like fruits or whatever, I'd snack sometimes, like I'd snack a cookie or I would have something as a treat or whatever, but for the most part I was eating healthy. And for dinner I would have a veggie burger and like veggies and stuff because I became vegetarian in January. So I was eating healthy, I was exercising also like an hour a day. I was doing cardio i was doing a, i would go for a bike ride in my break or whatever so i was doing a lot of exercise and i was really trying to like lose weight and i didn't shed a single pound and the moment i came back i've been back for about three months and i think in total i've lost about six kilograms and the first i would say the first four 
were not even trying. So for the first two months, I was just eating like I was eating toast, chocolate, sweets. I don't know, I didn't even care what I was eating. I was just like, whatever. And so I, and I still lost weight. So I definitely think stepping back into your own old routine, other than America, doesn't matter where you're from, especially South Africa, because the most of the people that I spoke to were from South Africa, you will lose a lot of the weight. Like I'm still not at my goal weight, but I'm happy with where I am because I know I've tried. Since I've been back, like for the past month and a half, I've been trying to eat a little bit better. I'll try and eat more veggies, stay away from bread. Um, I've been running a lot and exercising a lot. So for the past like month and a bit, I have been trying and I'm happy with where I am. And I know I have a long way to go, but that's fine. I was just so unhappy with where I was in America because the most frustrating thing is trying so hard and not seeing results. So it was very demotivating in America. So where I am now, I'm just so much happier because I know what I'm putting into my body is what, what I'm seeing and all of that. So anyway, I definitely wanted to include that for some of the au pairs and girls that I'd spoken to. Your body changes and your body grows and there's nothing to be ashamed of. Like, I, I understand the feeling of putting on that weight and seeing the change in your body, but if you're in America and you come back, I can almost guarantee that you will probably shed off a lot more weight than you would in America, purely because of the food and the way um, and the stuff that's in the food. I just wanted to include that just to give that reassurance because I honestly thought, I was like, I, I my body, I don't lose weight easily. I don't build muscle easily. I have to train a lot to lose a little bit. And so for me, I was very like, oh, I'm not gonna lose weight, but maybe or whatever. And I actually did. And to be fair, I think, also coming back, I must have lost like a kilogram or two because I don't even think I ate for like like two days. Not that I didn't eat at all, but I ate very small because it was a very stressful process for me coming back. I didn't have a ticket in my hand. I wasn't sure if I was gonna make the flights. I didn't know um, anything. They were so like in the dark with us in the repatriation flight. So I think even just that stress made me lose a little bit of weight, but um, you definitely will probably um, shed some pounds when you come back because it's food that you know, food that you're familiar with, you have the same routine that you had before you left and all of that. So other than that, that is basically it that has been happening in my life. It's been crazy because I cannot believe it's been three months. It like, it, it boggles my mind. It has been nice being at home, um, spending time with my boyfriend, my family and all of that. So yeah, that's why I haven't been on the camera and in action but i'm hoping to do more videos like challenges and um friend videos i have a few things in mind so hopefully maybe on the weekends when i get free time i can film and do all of that so thank you so so much for watching i hope you guys really enjoyed the video um if you didn't that's okay um it's more just for like a catch-up and a bit of a some summary of what's been happening in my life and all of that. I hope you guys have a lovely rest of your week and I will see you guys soon.